we've seen Valentinas outplay and take the Moscow ultimate so that they can go in dash and then get out. Mm. Ten years. Oh, come on, Bane Riz. Right? <laughs> Please. Right? Oh, wait, no, but maybe that's why they pick up the Valentina. Because they knew that they thought about the, the Bane the, the coming Bane up. The Bane Riz, yeah, because it's okay. As a Valentina, you steal the deadly catch, you steal the penalty zone, it's good. Come on, it's right there. MP, the king won a MPL championship with yeah. the Bane. It is now the Bane, might be the Nolan. Yeah, but come on. Ah, oh, it's not Nolan. That's Nolan. All right. I th maybe they did float the idea, but that uh, Valen the Valentina pick yeah. uh, kind of blocked it. And it was a little too specific. Yeah. And the metagame demands you play an assassin now or suffer the consequences. They picked the Nolan. Fair enough. Aurora now still lacking uh, decisive XP laner or roamer. Because we don't know where this Edith's going. Hmm. It's going to the hands of the Hitman. I wonder if Edward suddenly picks up a... Oh, wait, no, yeah, because this Edith can still go EXP. I wonder if they could turn it around and pick up something like a Thomas? That's an option. They're already winning initiative, so maybe the Thomas could just take it over the top. Yeah. And the Thomas can stand in a team fight. Confirmed. Oh, he goes Alpha. Oh, sorry, online. excuse me, Brock. The voice line threw me off. <laughs> All right, so there's a uh, confirmed rumor. <laughs> and then, yeah, they throw the Edith over to the XP lane, putting it in the hands of Aja. Uh, Abun Jinjin. Yeah, yeah, Abun Jinjin. It's Edward. Cold words, by the way, in the, the uh, video package exchange between him and Dilar, who maybe somewhere down the season we will see them face off. Hopefully. He says, I don't remember you crushing me in lane. It's because I always beat you, and I became a champion twice because of that. Words of Edward. So, it's, it's, just, it's just true. Yeah. I mean, as most guys these days know, it is what it is. It's going to be tough, honestly, for Blacklist. Because the thing with Nolan comps, although I do get it, they have a jawhead. So they, the roam mid is very... The roam mid jungle is very first-centric. Yep. Very that, pick off. Very pick off. Oh, that there is a chance that Blacklist can snowball out of control if they get the early picks. If they do not, and this is a little bit closer, they're going to be leaning a little bit more to towards the Moscow carrying the game. My worry is that they are playing on polar opposites. Like game one, they were just so slow. Let's slow it down. Yeah. Game two, they want to go fast. And then I'm wondering if this is going to do one of two things. Number one, shock Aurora into a submission and going to game three or it might be blacklist who struggles and you know you you, you see them across the map kind of second guess themselves i'm hoping that's not the case yeah. i think one of the ways that we can contextualize this is if we look at the difference of the mid lane picks you have the valentina and the aurora which interestingly enough uh, the student in the relationship between him and haji yeah. Uh, has an ultimate that can steal the ultimate of his former mentor. So the Edith and the Valentina together, I'm trying to think of how much of a difficult time Jawhead could potentially have against those two mm -hmm. if he's not careful. Uh, of course, you have the Jawhead facing off against the, the Grok. The Grok, rather. Okay, Excuse something me. Yes, tells me, something tells me that Grok pick tilts it slightly in favor of Aurora. It's because the the jawhead has to get into position. Unless he commits the unstoppable force, he's not getting into the range of the Valentina. That is multi-time MPL champion and world champion wise, by the way. He's in the building. Yeah. Right, fun fact for the MPL fans there, if you didn't know. Oh my Venus and Weiss uh, join a very prestigious club here in MPL Philippines to win three titles in the country. They also have a world championship with that as well. And now they're, in essence, uh, at least under management, facing off against their former company, <laughs> Blacks International. Uh, your sign is upside down. Flip it, please. Do y'all know? Uh, uh, they'll, they'll, they'll figure it out. Yeah, they'll Someone's going to tell them. Again, it's a packed crowd here in the MPL Arena, the Green Sun Hotel, a new home. That we call for season 14. Look at that. Is this not a scene worthy of an opening night? Oh, it is. There's a reason why this was the star match. You haven't seen Blacklist pop off just yet. Haji claims, though, this match against Aurora will serve as a good benchmark for the season. What is up 
with members of teams putting a lot at stake already onto the very first match of the season. Earlier, Snap said, whoever loses this is probably going to be eighth place. Uh -huh. Now, Haji saying, this will determine how good we are for the rest of the season. What is going on? Is, every, is everyone just putting a lot of pressure on their shoulders? Let me just throw this back at you. You know how people have New Year's resolutions? What's yeah. stopping any of us from saying, it's the middle of the year, it's towards the end of the year, it doesn't matter, today I will change my life. Why does it always have to be at the start? That's exactly why. I get you. I understand now. There's, 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 there's just something dogmatic yeah. and just... It, 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 it's... I, I can't explain it. People just like, you know, new starts. Yeah. Okay. It's a very pressuring new start, but there's a reason why I'm not a professional player, so I'll just go with it. Hey, this is our first day on the job this season. No. No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> About a minute in 45 seconds until we uh, get back into the game, which by the way, we are still theorizing how that mid lane is gonna look like. What does gold lane look like? Match up Moscow versus these. Claude, oh, all right. Eh. You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm glad that Doming has a hero that's slightly more mobile than the Moscow. Yeah. He needs that. Now here we go, we start off. Demon Kite popped up, uh, got out of his comfort zone. The longtime RSG man. He's a lot of mess from muscle memory still flashing yep. the RSG sticker. But it's gonna take a lot of muscle memory to bring back <laughs> his fanny. It's a new phone, it's a new season, it's a new building. Oh wait, why is it still the sticker? <laughs> the same one. Throwing back to the Raiders. You guys know him, you guys love him. Season 8 Rookie of the Season, Demon Kite. Now playing for the Northern Lights. Blacks International though, check it out. They're making sure that uh, he uh, confirms his purple. And just as the Hitman does, Ren and Jay checking in. So Prince's build is uh, tank. Decided to go for pull yourself together. Got agility as well and is rocking the tank emblem. Before it was... Uh, Focusing mark on the jawhead, but since jawhead's ability already has an innate whoa, focusing whoa, whoa. mark, it should be good for Oh, he gets caught! He's behind the wall! There's no way out! Ah. He's already committed flicker! He sucks! How he But he's gonna be a trade! But Randy J flickers away! The hitman gets the first blood! That's what I was saying! Again, between the jawhead and the grok, in certain situations, the jawhead has to be super all in. And that wasn't even certain situations. I was just talking about here we go. in lane and here we go. There we go. Domeng versus outplayed. Domeng, one of the hottest commodities. Some would argue in top three, top five gold laners in the country, going up against a two-time MDL champion in outplayed. Yeah. We haven't seen outplayed pop off just yet. Was it his tempo also in the last one? Something tells me this has to be a out of his comfort zone. In yeah. his time under Echo Proud, he was team captain. Ah. He was shot caller. Now he has to be part of a bigger team. MP the King secures it. Demon Kai tried. Yeah, he tried, but that was just a straight up red tree battle win for MP the King. He got the numbers advantage too. Yeah. 3v1, War Cry onto that Nolan. Invade could go good. No wild charge yet for Renner J. But a well timed wall. Nope, he's not going to be able to heal it with that. It was a slow attempt at the purple. Yeah, energy goes off. How does Mr. Bakarasi get away with this? I don't know, man. He drew first blood, and he just moved from lane to lane, to oh. jungle to buff. And, all right, all right, next, next stop. Man, hitmen get away with a lot of things. It's they've a hitman got, tour. They've got weapons, they got tools, they got disguises. He's got a microphone. Got a microphone. Perks with a toss and then the ultimate as well. Renji gonna get bursted down with the wall charge. The hitman gets away. Hachi gets punished by Aurora. Demon Kite still healthy. They took damage, but they didn't take casualties. Another one for Aurora. A kill apiece for Demon Kite and Renji. Did the passive? Did the, did the passive pop? The passive? It did, yeah? Yeah. It's just that he stayed there and then there was enough burst still. This early on, three minutes in. He didn't even need you to commit the flicker to get away. He straight up used a wild charge as an escape tool. Uh huh. But that was a good call by Perks. That was a good pickoff possibility, but it was just Rena J getting away. Okay. Uh, counting blessings for Blacklist. At least Haji did not panic flicker. 
Oh, yeah. He knew he was gonna die and just, you know, we'll just bounce back. Yeah. He was also he also understood that once he got out of his passive, even if he would use flicker right away, he'd bump into a wall. Yeah. So might as well not use it. So still a good call by the captain. But Aurora, they are just clapping back at every attempt by Blacklist. Oh. And I believe it was also Doming that got that gold. Couldn't see the sticker effects uh, block my view of where the gold went. Uh, looking at how fast the, the gold lead is going, ticking. Something tells me, yeah. Oh, wow! Oh, oh, the hitman from out of nowhere! Prince Bradlaw, but Jay Mackay gets first hit by MP! This is the turnaround of Blacklist International, as it's a double K for the Kamer King! Edward could be up next. He still has his ultimate, hasn't used it yet, already popped it off. He gets away, he gets burnt oh, down. Oh, oh. Will he survive? He goes into armor, he gets away, but Blacklist will get a win as the Spear of Destruction almost hit that Edith. Close call, and now Blacklist clap back. They're in the driver's seat, they're in control. They get two kills, and now they're almost a thousand. Gold ahead, Perks! Okay, Perks got blocked by a wall again. That has to be a sign for Perks. He has to be a little bit more careful of when he'll use that ultimate to commit. Because if he's not careful, he could get stuck behind a wall and a grok place. So far, so good. Aurora now reeling for the first time in a while after finishing strong in game one. Aurora have to find a way to climb back into a better position. They're down a thousand gold. They have yet to lose any major objectives. Yeah, uh, they are down two turtles. But looking at the map, I'd say something's got something's got to change in the side lanes. Like we haven't really seen much action from the side lanes. Yeah, we did. Discuss that this will be a row mid trio battle. The row mid and jungle, and I didn't expect it to be this blatant that both side lanes just got dead laned. Yep. It, like it, all the actions in the mid. It's literally just freezing, farming, farming. and so far. MP the King actually enjoys that because he knows where the targets are going to be. He yeah. knows who to look for and where they, they could only really be. Yeah. Again, very interesting. Okay, concealed, committed. Oh, but Yue gets away with a dash. Yep. No flickers committed there. Short. Oh, no, flicker. Excuse me. Perks used the flicker. Yeah, Perks used it. And that's why he got into range as if he used the unstoppable force, but he didn't. Yeah. 17 seconds before the turtle spawns. What are we looking at here for either of these teams with the main condition for a fight? Ooh. All right, well, Blacklist obviously has to start with either the penalty zone or the unstoppable force. That's it. Yeah. There's no two ways about it. Aurora, though, they have multiple entries. Edward could come in. Yui could have gotten a stolen ult. Uh, Demon Kite could, could, could faint. And then from the other angle, get a flank via, again, Renegade or Yue or Edward. I think there's more angles for Aurora to catch up Oh, this. Edward with the flicker and the ultimate. Actually, it wasn't even an ultimate. It was just the crowd control. Briggs goes down. Dominic gets a kill. Oh, get the Lord. And that's going to be two kills for Aurora. But it's a killing spree for MP the King. But Demon Kite, excuse me, gets the turtle. And just like that, Aurora diminished the gold lead away from the House of Black. And it was through. Oh! oh. It was a through. Better execution, better situational awareness, and again, an ungodly amount of CC. Even I could have sworn, even I could have sworn there was extra little something there, but no, it was just the one, two, the earth shatter into the onward. What a combo entry by Edward. It's everything. The suplex, the German suplex, the fisherman suplex, every kind of suplex that you can dish out. Carry. The fireman's carry, the fireman's carry, drop. That's the one that hurts the most. Well, the, them so Moans got tough heads. So now Aurora. See if they can get another one. But Renegade just standing there. He knows that he can't get crowd control. He's been oh, no, he's stuck. Oh, 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 he's stuck. Ultimate. Flicker out. Conceal out. Uh, Perks committed everything to get away. But the kitchen sink. <laughs> and now they have to wait, right? They have to wait for a minute and a half until Perks is ready, until Perks get his full kit. And again, I told you, that's one of the two real entries for Black. Blacklist International, outplayed, gets forced back. He only has, a, has an assist and a golden staff on him. I believe that's already the uh, second item for the Moscow at this point. Demon Cat whirling around Lord JM. Oh, this is tough! For a Terizla! Eh. Speed in the world of Kung Fu determines the winner. But that was Sword Fu by the Fanny. 
and the cutthroat to finish it off, dude. That was a Terizla. It's as if Vary Smith was nothing to Demon Kite. Threaded that armor. Bunch of natural 20s all around. It's a critical for Demon Kite. And now it looks critical for Blacklist as Aurora begins to invade their jungle, the lower portion of it. He's looking like a bodybuilder on a two week cut. He shredded. <laughs> That's visual. Yeah, it is. All right, now the Lord has spawned, and this is, again, no position for Blacklist to try and contest. Maybe they can try to extend this dance. Oh, yeah. And then close the gap between uh -oh. them and Aurora, 1,000 gold, shrink it down to make maybe 600, 500, and then get a good entry via perks. Who is, by the way, what is that? 20 seconds away from a full flicker? Yeah. All right, it's counting. Nine, 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 eight, eight, yeah. Okay, uh, is it a blitz? Oh no, they're both just poking down the Lord. The positioning right now it's by... It's a dance. Yeah, Demon Kite and Renegade. So you see that how they drew a line all across. That's how you know they have a good position locked in. But uh, good poke checks by Blacklist International will send them back a little bit. Very uh, standard procedure here for this Lord attempt. Especially knowing that there's a fanny on the side of Rora. I'm wondering if Renegade is going to come in with a conceal. I wonder if it's a cooldown too. Because they could take control from this river bush. Because I don't think Blacklist wants to take it. And that's a very strong position to come through. Yeah. Demon Kite decides to teleport back so that he can clear the bottom minion wave. It'll make Black think twice. And it'll allow for Aurora to reposition even better in the Lord. Because Blacklist has to change their positioning towards the mid and the bottom, as you see with the Jawhead in Moscow. Yep. And Blacklist knows this too well. One of the pioneers of the Lord Dance. One of the keys to a successful Lord Dance is long lane control. Hide your face check. Renegade not committing anything just yet. Here we go again. Oh, ouch, ouch, ouch. That's Valentina, bro. Oh, no. I'm looking at Dominic and Lord JM. Perks. Oh! The mid -sip. He finds the claw. Forces down the BMI. Forces down the UFS. Ah! But it's MP the King who gets taken down right away. The purse is too much. Demon Kite with the damage of Haji. It's the second win of Blacklist International as they have the Moskov. Haji's fade away, ultimate back to base as he has to respawn, saves Black. A Pyrrhic victory for Aurora. Yes, they won the fight, but at what cost of their frontliners, Renegade and Edward. Now they're double guessing themselves, but I think it's worth it. They can blitz this. It's just Lord Jamin outplayed in the scene. And Aurora gets it without a problem. UM was more than enough to stop Lord Jamin outplayed from getting close. First Lord of the game goes to Aurora. And this is very reminiscent of game one. Yes, there were a lot of backs and forths, but again, in the First Lord is where it came to a head. The First Lord is where the decisive win came through, wherein the picture of what the end game might look like reared its ugly head. Now Aurora looks like, hey, we're, we're in control now. What are you gonna do against Edward's full combo? The crowd control getting dished out. The fact that Uwe can steal a big ticket ultimate away from Blacklist International. And Demon Kite's positioning and timing with his fanny has been immaculate. 5 1 and 1. Oh. He could find 6. Look at the gap between him and Lord JM. There's a devil in the bush. The demon hiding. Oh, oh they find him. The king of hell. He finds Lord JM. The demons in the shrub gets a kill. Demons. Straight out of the underworld. Hades sent him with love. Right towards Lord JM. Edward. Oh no, the rest of the map is gonna turn red. Aurora with that pick. Sent Blacklist reeling and back. I mean, Zagreus came back over and over again, but not Lord JM. Yeah. Not Lord JM. Blacklist International now with their backs against the wall. The poke damage coming up from Dominic the Perks. It hurts, bro. Way too much. All right. The is, front of Blacklist is non-existent. This is a significant 3K, 4K. You know what? It, truth be told, Blacklist doesn't have a front line. Blacklist has a shock line. Yeah. They have to win once Perks and Lord JM make themselves seen, right? Yeah. There, there, there's no real deal. Okay. Ultimate committed. They toss back the ground. This is bad here. Renegade already committing to ultimate to get away. The Blazing! Do it! By Domang! Forces yeah. back! Outplayed in Epi the King! Here comes Yue with a penalty tone as a Valentina! That's a cosplay! Lord JM gets taken down! You could
could have sworn it was Rena J who was going to pay the price for dancing the line of life and death, but no, the hitman says no. He gets away with it and it's Lord JM. I'm, I'm so frustrated for Lord JM. If in game one, it was perks, this time it's the same Terizla who's struggling. This is not a good series for a Terizla. In game number one, it was the Zask. It's like saying no. Where's now it's Domeng who got a good power spike. Where's and earlier he was passive? shredded by a Fanny. Where's my passive? Where's my, uh, and what's Mario so Smith? miserable? Look at this. His only lines of defense are a dominance ice and the measly magic defense from the top boots. That's tough, bro. That is tough for this Terizla. The only frontliner. The frontline holder for Blacklist International. They're playing pickoff here with the Jawhead as they're trying to find one. Oh, this is Domeng. He's a big. Oh, he comes a second skill. He tosses back the claw. This could be a really good pickoff. But Domeng falls. Why with an ultimate? It sends back Aurora. They find one. Rena J! The ultimate. The flicker. The triple. The maniac. Demon Kite tops it off from a Rena J play. Pure evil, out of control. Edward, man-to-man -man defense against Lord JM. They're inside the base. And in the dawn of this new rivalry, 2.0 can only look at the light, get blinded, and get swept as Aurora takes first blood in this series. They couldn't get a win overseas.